by me, Tubby Engineer. Um, I'm quite excited today. I've got home and there's vape mail. Ooh, vape mail! Um, excuse, excuse, let me take a vape and calm down slightly. Um, I arrived home and this envelope was waiting for me. Um, you'll notice it's covered in about 10,000 stamps and it's from Athens, Greece. Inside it is this, a sweet little black box and I'll hold it up. There you go, can you read that? The Gaia Mod by Zarus. So, I haven't opened it yet. I will move the camera over and do close-ups in a minute and I'll unbox it and we'll take a look at it. Now, I ordered this from Zarus's uh, website and at the time of ordering you could get the stainless steel and the brass the copper version hadn't been released um, personally I'm not keen on copper mods the copper's too soft and I worry about the threading what have you um, I know some people love copper I know Todd loves copper and brass, and my apologies to Todd, copper not my favourite thing. Um, however, I ordered the stainless steel Gaia, and I also ordered the brass locking ring, and the two brass airflow rings. Okay so I'll just take another vape and then we'll go to the close-ups and I'll unbox it and we'll have a look and see what we get. And then once we've had a look at it in close-up I'll pop a battery in, take a few vapes and I'll give you my first impressions of it. Okay so here, the Gaia Mod by Zarus. Now, I ordered the Gaia Mod along with the brass airflow ring, the brass locking ring, and the two brass airflow ring pieces. Right, a little piece of paper here, in case of using spare parts such as rings or air tubes other than the original set, right, they supply a little o-ring in a bag so that if the logos don't quite up you can pop the air ring in and it will help the logos line up on the tubes. Right. Ooh. Lid's coming off, lid's coming off. Right, so we have spare o-ring for using on the switch. Let me just move those out of the way a moment. Thank you for purchasing Gaia, magnetic mechanical mod, designed and implemented in Greece. My serial number is 70 of 111 from batch A of the production. Um, package includes tubes for 18350, 18500, 18650 batteries and the use of IMR type. 
is recommended. I hope you like and enjoy my work, Zarus. Right, well, let's take off the film. Ah. These are quite snazzily packaged. Right, so it's arrived, set up in 18350 mode. Now it's laser engraved, and I'm assuming you can see the 070 of 111, the Gaia logo. On the top it's engraved and says magnetic mechanical mod with the Gaia logo again. There is a small airflow channel cut into the middle but it doesn't go right to the edge. Now well that's probably not going to make too much difference because most Atties you use these days come with their own airflow. Locking ring at the bottom, reverse threaded, feels very nice and smooth. Button is magnetic. feels pretty good. You can see it's got the Zaros logo on the bottom. Pretty nice. Just lock the fire button and we'll unscrew the tube. Now these tubes feel really well machined they really do feel pretty silky smooth I'll do the switch, let's have a quick look <clears throat> right so you do have A brass contact at the bottom with a Delrin battery spacer and what appears to be four vent holes drilled into the edge of the switch assembly. Tubes feel really well machined. There's a very slight trace of dirt in the threads, but nothing terrible. Um, and the thread, the tubes thread together really, really smoothly. Now, these top and bottom air rings and the lock ring are replaceable. You can buy them in as spares in brass and copper. And you can get the mod in all stainless steel, all brass, all copper, or various mixes. Um, I'll put up the website address in the slide at the end and you can go have a look and get your mod if you uh, really want one <clears throat> right so I will just uh, pause this and I will take the 
actually no I won't pause it let's take the top cap off and have a look at the top cap I'll do a full review later on right let's take that stainless ring off okay so it's a fixed it's a uh, an adjustable 510 pin you've got the adjuster here on the Delrin along with an adjuster screw for taking out battery rattle um, it's quite a small it's quite a small grip on that um, 510 adjusting ring so if you've got big fat fingers like me you're going to need a pair of pliers or fingernails right so let's pop the brass ring on You see there's battery venting there on the side of the tube. the other way around there and let's put the 18350 tube on let's have a look at it in Diddy 18350 mode Take this o-ring off, I'm not sure whether we'll need it yet, let's see. Apparently you need to pop that on if the logos don't line up. Which they don't. Okay, I decided to take a little bit of a break there <clears throat> and do this properly. Um, I stopped and I took the whole thing apart, cleaned and greased all the threads with um, contra lube, and checked the O-ring. Now, after a little bit of a fight putting it back together, I discovered that to get the logo to line up you have to put the o-ring here around this center piece and I don't know whether you can see that but it does leave a small line now personally I don't think it detracts too much from the mod but I would have liked to have seen it match up better with the spare rings than it does um, I'm not disappointed with it by any stretch of the imagination I mean I think it's quite a uh, lovely looking little piece of kit um, so what I'm going to do now is put a battery in it and an atty on and we'll see how it goes Okay, so I'll take the top cap off. I 
I'll get my trident dripper. Now the threads on this were a touch tight when I was first putting the atomizer on. But after the initial uh, resistance it frees up and it's now pretty silky smooth. I think it's just a case of uh, not having had anything connected since it's been machined. That's okay. Dropping a battery. There we go. Get a drip tip. And I'll take a vape. There we go. So that's it with my trident on top. I've got an 18350 in it and this is a 0.9 ohm dual coil build which is probably a little heavy for this 18350. So what I will do is take that off and I will put in an 18650 IMR. Now, the 18350s I've got aren't flat top, but the nipples are not particularly large on them. So The variation between 18350s and 18650s means the tubes don't always fit exactly. I have to adjust things slightly. There's also a bit of a gap on the switch in the 18350 tube as well. I will investigate that and see if I can clear it up. It might just be machining debris. But let's battery rattle. Okay, so I've got my shiny new Gaia mod together. Um, there's a couple of little issues that I think I'll need to address. There's a slight gap where the switch joins the 18650 extension tube. Um, And there is a slight gap where the tubes join the airflow rings. You can see a bit of the o-ring that's used to line it up. But other than that, it's actually pretty nice. I quite I rather like it, particularly with the brass accent rings. Um, the locking ring standard reverse threaded smooth enough. Um, the laser 
laser etching on the end there with the Zaros logo, that's uh, quite nice. The etching for the name and the logo is good and strong, it's really black and all nice and crisp. All in all, I, I think I rather like it. Um, give it a vape. That's a standard 0.9 ohm dual coil, dual microcoil build in the Trident. I'm sorry, Buybox for contacting me and uh, being annoying. Probably, but you may get another one before this is over. <coughs> um. I can't feel any significant voltage loss, it feels as though it's vaping okay. The, um, the vape seems reasonable. Still a slight bit of rattle in that battery. Just turn that connector up a bit more. You're getting towards the end of the threading on that adjuster pin for the 510 connector. Still rattling. <sighs> Annoying. Mm. Still a little battery rattle on that uh, five ten. On that uh, battery. I'm just wondering, there's a little Delrin insert here, I'm just wondering if that will adjust as well. Mm. Not sure. Let me get my battery back. Well, this is turning out to be an epic first look. Perhaps I'm being overcautious with the adjusting pin. There we go. 
I think it's just me being over cautious with the adjusting pin. Right. lemon and menthol in again. Mm. Well, I think all in all what it really needs is for me to use it a bit and get used to it. So that's it for this first look. Um, as I say, I will do a review, a full review, in a few days once I've had a chance to use it and get to know its little quirks and sort out any minor teething problems that come from me not knowing about the mod. Okay, well that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye now.